I'm not sure that I'm back again. I'm back again. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I want to talk about a topic that I haven't been. I haven't, I haven't really talked about this for long, uh, for ever, ever, ever. This is the first time I'm actually talking about this topic. The topic I'm going to run by with you people out there is the parallel universe. Now you may have seen videos about it. Parallel universe. Um, I read up on it. And it sounds intriguing, the parallel universe. Remember this, this is a parallel universe. We live in the so-called Earth. We live in a parallel universe. And, um, I, mean, I saw a video the other day about this so-called parallel universe. Now, I didn't know what that really meant, to be honest with you. Folks. So, so bear with me, I'll have to find the title of one of the YouTubers' uh, videos to actually write that down. I don't know how to spell it, kind of thing. Uh, so we live in a parallel universe, as people would say. There's a big video about it. Uh, it lasted almost about uh, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 5 zero. So 15 minutes, it was almost uh, a TV show lengthy. Um, but they were talking about parallel universe. We live in this so-called parallel universe. Now, one other thing I got uh, mentioned here with a lot of people out there, uh, we live in this illusion. Everything is just an illusion we see around us. Out there in the world, it's all an illusion. All, everything we see out there is just an illusion to our minds. Uh, it's just an illusion. If you think about it, we're all living in the parallel universe, we're all living in this illusion thing. It's a, like a mirage. It's like we're living in the desert. And there's no way around. It's a complete desert. Uh, we have sand around it, and we have sand on the ground. And there's no way to go. We live in a parallel universe. And that's sort of what that means. A uh, parallel universe. So I'm going to talk about this in life. Uh, now, today I've heard about this, uh, uh, this uh, Chris Combo. Chris Combo. Uh, you might have heard about him. Uh, I was saying today, everything will pass. Everything will pass in the world. I don't think, uh, I don't think, uh, Chris Combo ever thought about, you know, I'm not going to say it here, uh, the explanations that he, uh, uh, that they put on him. Uh, everything will pass. Everything in the world will pass. It's like this one, with, uh, Chris Combo, the governor of New York. Everything will pass in the world. Everything will pass. It's like not alone. People have thought about it in a few months, a few years. And nobody's, nobody talked about it. it. It's like hush hush. Don't talk about that alone. It's hush hush. It's not a big story. It's not, we all know what's inside job. We know somebody in the government did this. And we're blaming the government on this kind of thing. Uh, so everybody's in hush hush about that alone. And it goes like with anything in the world. Uh, all these stories you see around the world, it's just, it pops. You know, it, Everything pass, you know. Uh, it's, it's not like that. It's not like uh, a pass we go pass in jail. Uh, it's not that kind of pass. A pass in events. They call it events. These are events that people have in their world, in their own little world. Everything shall pass. I'm not saying everything shall pass in the world. It's like the accusations of uh, Andrew Cobble, Governor Andrew Cobble. Everything that Women say to him, or did, or did not do, kind of thing, shall pass. If you read that in the Bible, there's some verse on it that says, everything shall pass. And that's what it means. It doesn't mean pass in uh, 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 jail. It means everything that we, everything is a vet. Everything in the world is just a vet. It's just a vet. Uh, a vet means a uh, venue. That kind of vet is a venue. Uh, Chris Cobb was going through phases in his life that he doesn't like. He didn't want to go on camera and say so and so and so forth and uh, I'm sorry about it kind of thing. Uh, he, he did apologize. But, uh, like I said, it's, like I said, with him, everything shall, shall pass. What I mean by that is it's just a vent for him. It's just a, it's like a festival event. Everything shall pass. The, the next day, it'll pass. It means, it means, uh, 
Whatever it is he's saying now, even though just a future, is going to be in the past. It's in the past. He already talked about it in the past. He apologized. He moved on. He talked about what he needs to do in this world to get it done. It shall pass. All these accusations that were on him shall pass. That means, that means, if I can, if I can, uh, divulge a bit with you people out there in the world, the so-called internet, uh, everything in the world is an event. Just think of that as such. Just say to yourself, everything in the world is a festival event. A festival event. It's like this. Every festival event will pass. Okay? It means it's done. Uh, it starts up the festival, finish the festival, it's done, it shall pass. And, and, then, and, and then they'll go on to the next festival, and the next festival, and the next festival. Uh, I don't mean this in a harmful way. I mean, uh, everything in the world shall pass. What we did, what we didn't do, or what we're going to do in the near future. Uh, everything, everything in our livelihoods will pass. You know, this goes for Andrew Cobble. I thought about this today when I heard about uh, Andrew Cobble. And I said to myself, well, everything shall pass. That means, he's talking about it now. And you know what, 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 I'll give you an example. Uh, maybe in the next 10 years, 20 years, nobody's going to talk about it. It's just, in the past, it's like I keep saying, everything shall pass. In the past, if you know what I mean. It's in the past, he talked about it, he apologized, and that's, that's what I'm saying. Everything in the world show pass. It's like an event. It's like a festival event. Every event show pass. Uh, you know, it starts up the event, starts the festival, and it ends. And then go on to the next one. So everything show pass. Every event that we've done or did do show pass. It's done, it's done. It's like, uh, it's like, it's like saying, hey, I'm done. I'm out of it. I'm done. <laughs> exactly. And I'm not, uh, 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 Chris, Co uh, Chris Combo, uh, I'm not getting anything about this. Just want you to know this. I'm not getting out of this. I'm just saying that everybody's, everybody has an event in their, in their own little world. Everybody has an event in their lives. In their lives. Their own little livelihood. It'd be a story, uh, event. Uh, so it's like a story. It's like a good story. It's like a good event. We went to this festival event. It was great. It's an event. And that shall pass. That means that was in past tense, right? That's what I'm saying to that. I'm saying it's in the past tense. It was done. Why did he catch it was done? Uh, that past. That's in the past. That's in the way, way, way way in the past. That was done. That was all done. So, we, so every little thing in their lives is like an event in our own, in our own self. It shall pass. So, here's what I'm saying about that means. That means in, in our little world, in our own little world, like Andrew Cobble, uh, the women did, uh, did, uh, uh you know, you know, I, I thought today, I thought today, maybe they should have told that lady, uh, the secretary lady, that Andrew Cobble has said all these things. Maybe she should have told her that, uh, I can't help you with this. I just can't help you with this. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I just, I can't help you with this. Um, it's a nice story, but I just, I just can't help you with this. You just gotta say it nicely for the person. I just can't help you. I'm not in a position to help you with, with your story that you're saying. Uh, so you have to go to the right people that can, essentially. So you say it nicely to the person. So, you know, I just simply can't help you with this. Because uh, I, I, I have my own office, I simply can't help you. So you can just say that to the person there. And say, say it like a, in a nice way. Uh, go to the person that really could help you in the situation that you're in, essentially. Uh, you know, they will help you out. They will help you out immensely. Um, he could have, he could have just, uh, come up and easily said to these women, Hey, I'm not the person I can, I can help you with, with these situations. Um, and, uh, you know, just be 
nice, be nice to a person that will understand, their computer will understand. Uh, they'll, they'll find a person that would, would help them out with whatever situation they're in. Uh, so combo kind of, uh, so I always say to people like this, you know what you say, I can't help you. Uh, I, I, I work here and I, I just can't help you. Uh, you know, thank you for telling me this, but I just can't help you. In, in a nice, nice way. So really say that to a person, really mean that and say that to a person. And just say it very nicely to a person that, uh, that you just said. That, that'll be great, then they know where you're coming from all this. Because uh, it's what you call what type of position you're in. You're, you're in an office, and uh, whatever situation she said, I just can't help her on that. I just can't, I just can't, uh, I, I'm not in that position of what, what she told me. So I, can, I just can't help her. You can uh, maybe uh, get someone who knows your situation. I uh, can really help you. So just say it like that. Be nice when you say that to a person. Uh, so, so they understand that. So they don't, uh, you know, felt uh, lost about it. So there you go, folks. I just said what I said. I don't want to gain over this. I just don't want to, um, I'm not getting paid for this. And I just want to tell you guys, uh, for Andrew Combo, just hold on tight, hold on tight. Everything in the world is just a bit. Like I said, in this world we live in today, in this day and age, everything is an event. It's like a festival event. It's, it starts, ends, and then we go on to our next event, next festival event. That's past. So everything in the world shall pass. They'll say that in the Bible. A verse in the Bible would say that. Everything in the world shall pass. It's like everything in, every, in everybody's life. Everything should just pass and be on their very way. So, and uh, yeah, yeah, you, know, you try and say it nicely to the person so that they can understand that. Because uh, you don't know what they're going through. It's as simple as that. I'm not just saying to tease anybody. You just don't know what they're going through. So you just say, I'm not the type of person who can help you with your situation. So you may have to uh, ask someone who knows your situation better, essentially. Any top actual couple can easily say that to that person. Or just, or, uh, or better yet, yeah, or just say, I want to disengage now. Uh, I just want to disengage with you, sir. I'm not the type of person who can help you because I'm going to be in all of this. And you just, you, just, you just say really nice to the person so they understand where you're coming from. Uh, so you don't let, let them astray. It's like a, it's like a street cat. You know? It's like, uh, uh, so you, uh, you kind of, uh, you kind of really tell them that. In a nice way, nice gesture. So, I understand what Andrew Cobble said today. Uh, the governor of Andrew Cobble, I, I can really understand what he said. But I think, I think he could have done a look, uh, I think he could have, could have, uh, could have uh, done a little better than he only did before. Uh, what he's done was done, I get it. But he could, he could have uh, changed the situation by saying, uh, I can't help you, man. I, I'm not in a position to help you. So you just say, I'm in the office. I, I, I can't help you with your situation. You're the story you told me. So I just can't help you there. Uh, you know, just say that nicely to that person. So you really need it for, uh, for the other person. Uh, so, you know, uh, so people are uh, in different positions in life. You, you have to, uh, since you want to say to these people out there, is you gotta know your, what position are you in, in terms of your life. Where, where are you gonna be in the next five or ten years in your career, your political career? You gotta, you gotta really know that, folks. You gotta really know that. Because you don't know five days or ten years are out into the future. So no one has predictions about their own future. It's gonna be like in the next ten years or twenty years. <coughs> Every, Everybody in this world is like a vet to them. It's like a vet. Uh, I'll spell it out for you. It's like a, a festival vet. It's like that. Every vet in the people's lives is like an event that they go to. Uh, it's all done in the past. I've been there, got the down there, it's in the past. So we move on. It's like that. It's like that simple as that. So what Andrew Cobb is going to, it shall pass. The word I would say, it shall pass. Whatever the accident is, it's going 
Well, I told him Andrew Cuomo, that show pass. That means whatever, whatever, whatever he done with the woman that he's associated with, that show pass. And look, in years and years, it will still so pass. Because, uh, you know, in life, that's the way it is. You know, life are just events, just events. It's, just, it's like a festival event. You know, I look at it that way. And it's just a, to another festival event, to another one. And I uh, like event, do it too. So, bear that in mind. So, when Andrew Cumber here, I'll just put my two cents in for him. Whatever the woman said, uh, whatever the woman, you know, I don't know what the story was, but you heard from Andrew Cumber on this video today. Everything in the world of people is just a bet. It shall pass. For Andrew Cumber, what he's saying today, in the next 10 years or five or 20 years, that event that he said way back in 10 years ago shall pass. It shall pass in his, in his life, in his political career. And that will pass. And I don't want to gain over the story of him. I'm just saying that maybe he should have handled it differently. That's all I'm saying, folks. That's, what I'm, that's basically what I'm saying right now. So Andrew Cuomo, um, if you heard me on this, just bear this in mind. I'm going to say, I don't know you, but I just want to say, maybe you should have took it in a different way. A different way of saying things. Take like Donald Trump. He, it's like the Donald Trump thing uh, in, in January 6th. He should have told his, uh, his uh, supporters not to go down to the White House or the Capitol and do that right thing. Maybe they should have told his fans his supporters to stay right here and listen to them. Don't go down to the Capitol Hill or, <laughs> and, you know, uh, and do it right. No, stay, stay here. And I think Donald Trump was a uh, sign of right. Wasn't he a sign of right? Wasn't he? I think so, folks. We're not going down there, folks. We're not going down there. Heck no. You know, because... He was trying to uh, tell his uh, supporters that you're not going to have a world anymore uh, if Joe Biden were to get it. You're not going to have that world that you want to live into. You're not going to have the Republicans, you're not going to have the Democrats. It's a two-party system, folks. It's not a one-party system. You know, we don't jive like that. We don't really jive like that. It's a two-party system in the United States. Here we got a four-party system. Uh, in terms of uh, liberals, conservatives, uh, the other, the other is always the other. Um, and you can be independent, and um, the Green Party, you can be like the big Green Party, have a big theory on the Green Party thing. Uh, so yeah, just like I said, uh, it's a two-party system in the United States. Why is that? I don't know. Don't tell people who know the history very well. Um, it's a two-party system. As far as I know, it's the Democrats versus the Republicans. That's right. Donald Trump, on the other hand, he's a Republican. He, I, I looked him up. He's the Republican. That's his party status. Uh, his Tennessee uh, party status, I guess you'd call it. He's the Republican. Joe Biden, on the other hand, he's Republican. Uh, not a Republican. Democrats, sorry, folks. Uh, Democrats. So, so bear this in mind, Joe Biden has experience of being in politics for a long time. A long time. It's not like Donald Trump who just came in and didn't know anything about politics. Anything about politics. So there you go, folks. I don't know his brief history, but I, what I do know, he's a showmanship. Uh, Donald Trump was a showmanship. Uh, he only lasted four months, four years in the Trump administration. And that was basically what the American people got out of. Just a four or so years of Donald Trump. And, um, I'm just waiting in. I'm just waiting in what I saw today. Uh, really, yes. Um, so Andrew Cuomo, who's the governor of New York, I'm just going to weigh in what I've heard today of him. And he could have just said to the young lady, hey, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not the right person to help you with that kind of thing. He can at least say that to the young lady. Uh, so, I'm not the type of person that would kind of help. So you just, you just, you just would say that, you know, just be kind about it when you're saying that. Uh, 
so just always say the kindest factor. And uh, yeah, these people will understand. These people will definitely understand. And they don't go away crying. They just go away completely understanding. Uh, so, uh, so, you know, it's like in the theater. Always leave them happy. Leave them happy. Because when they came in, they're already happy. And leave them coming, going out, is happy. You know, kind of thing. So, they don't have a bad taste in their mouth. So, that, that's my observation and my my uh, take of it. And uh, I'm chiming in for it. So, there you go, folks. Hope you learned something here, folks. And, uh, the parallel universe. I'm still going to stick with the parallel universe. I'm going to stick with that for a little while. So called parallel universe. That's all I think about it, folks. I'm stuck. I'm going to read up on it. I'm definitely going to read up on it. Uh, the so-called parallel universe. So, the governor of Andrew Cabo, I think, he could just handle it a little bit different. A little bit different, the whole situation. But, uh, I'm not getting into all this. I'm just saying my... I'm just waiting in, essentially, and put my thoughts to it. Uh, what I think of, you know, Andrew Cabo. So, there you go, folks. This is my opinion about him, and uh, I think he should have at least took it a different way on it. But, just, you know, he could have just told that young lady, hey, uh, I'm not in a position to help you, and I'm sorry, kind of thing. Uh, I, have, uh, I have an office, I can't help you with your situation, I'm sorry, kind of thing. Uh, that you had to go through that sort of thing. And that you could easily say it that way. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just leave him. You know, this little boy, whole happy section. You know, and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe they all say, hey, he was a nice, kind hearted guy. Kind of thing. Just leave him. You know, kind of thing. Just, that's what I mean. I'm just, I'm just making an observation here. You know, that's all I'm doing, folks. So, really, there's people out there that could have easily help her out with that. Switch where Andrew Cobb was saying. Uh, but, in no situation, that's where you should tell a person that. But yeah, you know, just remember, everybody is different. Everybody's different out there. They're, they're, so they go through different situations in their lives. Different situations. So, you, uh, so Andrew Cowboy has no idea what situation the girl's in. She would have to go to somebody that would know her situation very well. And really, uh, really help her out with it. And really just, uh, you know, that's all I can... Um, and really, uh, and on her level, maybe. So that's, I just want to help out Andrew Cuomo here. Uh, Governor Andrew Cuomo, I think. You should have just taken it a little differently. And, uh, yeah, just... So there you go, folks. My two cents. I'm going to uh, weigh in this. I'm going to weigh in with uh, Governor Andrew Cuomo. And... I don't want to gain all of this. I just want to give my uh, observation about it. And uh, my thoughts about it. And he could handle it differently. But, like I said, I think Andrew Cowboy should not talk about it so much. Just let it, let it, it everything will show pass by. You know, everything will pass by. Yeah, you know, like I said, uh, in the world, everything shall pass by. It's like an event. So, it's like an event in the world, it's like a festival event. After it starts, to finish, on to the next one. Kind of thing. So, it's like an event. People with lives are like events. And so, we move on to the next one, it's an event, folks. So, there you go, folks. Uh, learn it from me, you'll learn something from me. <laughs> you know, I, I can uh, give my free advice to her, that's all I can do. Because I'm not in a position to do so, kind of thing. So the only way I can uh, offer up uh, offer up my suggestion to her is, you know, go see a person that would, uh, you know, say what if she can help with and stuff like that. This kind of thing. Well, you heard what I said there at the beginning of the, uh, the audio here. And, uh, like, she'll so have to go see someone who is in that, who can help her out with the situation she's in, sexually. And I'm just saying this nicely to her, not, uh, you know, you know, the 
story that she told, maybe she'll have to go see somebody that knows her situation very well. Seriously. So, you know, you can hope, uh, you know, you only go to the right people that can help you in the right situations. The right people are. And, uh, yeah, just remember that, folks. We're all in this together. We're all really in this together. I'm not going to lie. But we're all really, we're all one in this world. We're trying to, um, it's not means to an end. It's not the means to an end situation. It's means to live longer. Live longer. It's the, um, lifespan. Sexual. To live longer. And not try to, uh, who's that?